Gary, can you t talk about what it was like having Grinch down there on the sideline? What, what sort of interaction you guys had and how that was different from the previous games when he was up in the booth? Uh, it's just different uh, with communication wise. Uh, he's able to get the calls out faster, able to talk to us on the sideline, make uh, faster adjustments. Did he do a lot of defensive back specific coaching when the offensive field that he did you guys together as a group very much? Uh, yeah, he made sure to talk to us after uh, each series and see what he's seeing and talk to us about what we're seeing, just, just uh, make adjustments. As a player, what's it like all of a sudden having a you know, your coach there looking over your shoulder when in the past he, he hadn't really been there during the game. Oh, it's great having him right there next to you. It uh, gives you a little bit more confidence and just allows you to feel uh, better about the game. You guys yeah. made some strides from uh, game one to two. You know, how do you feel like you, um, or I guess what helped you uh, improve? Uh, just having, uh, playing as a team and making sure everyone is collective of the game plan and uh, just being confident out there and everyone's just having fun. So uh, we just played uh, looser and just try to uh, play our game. After, you know, seeing the impact Shalom has, I mean, what does a guy like that bring to your guys, your defense? Uh, it's it's uh, awesome having him out there. Uh, he's a leader and uh, with him being out there, everyone just follows uh, his uh, leadership and his play. So it gives everyone else a boost. Do you agree with the coach's assessment that you guys are lacking toughness against Boise? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we, there was times out there we weren't tough, so I mean, we just got to get better and uh, pl play harder and just do listen to coach and we'll be fine. Where, where does that start? How do you guys get that edge back? Uh, just keep on practicing hard, listening to the game plan, and just following what the coaches say. What's the overall feeling right now? I mean, I, I know a bunch of you guys are coming out of fall camp, and I bet none of you would have said you would have been on to. Uh, I mean, it's a disappointing feeling, but uh, we just got to get get back to grinding and uh, working hard and keep practicing hard and everything will lay itself out. What are, what are the goals entering this week? You know, you've taken on an Idaho team. This is a big opportunity for you guys to finally right the ship and, and get that first win. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, the goal is always to win, so we just got to uh, come, come ready to practice hard and we should just pl play hard and just go out there and have fun. You had a chance to talk to Chuck yet about that interception and him running out of the field <laughs> from uh, off it? Uh, yeah, Chuck, Chuck says that was a design play. He's just oh, joking. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, it, we were in a different package, so and he didn't hear the call. And I mean, it, it ended up working out. So. You think you might have tried some of that kind of bait and switch stuff yourself? Uh, no, I won't be trying that. Any questions on the line for Darian Bolton? Darian, hey, it's Buffalo with the Seattle Times. When you look at the first two games, do you feel like the the issues you guys had in game one and game two are similar or different? Um, the there's similar uh, things we need to fix, but overall, I think uh, we made a big stride from game one to game two, and I think if we just keep on uh, dialing and listening to Coach Grinch, that uh, we'll we'll just keep on making uh, adjustments and keep improving. So what would you say the defense is working on this week? Uh, just making sure the defense knows to take it one play at a time and making sure everyone knows that all we have to do is just do our job and not do anything above and beyond, and we should be fine. Thank you. Any other questions on the line for Darian? And back in the room. Have you had a chance to look at Idaho again, and what have you seen from that offense? Uh, they they do a little bit of uh, it's not too uh, as complicated as Boise, but uh, they're pretty balanced offense. So we're gonna uh, get in the meeting rooms tomorrow and just uh, discuss the game plan. Feel any different this week playing a team that's like eight miles away? Uh, I mean every I try and take every game as the same, so no no big difference.